Hello and welcome to tutorial 8 part 2, finalising your song in GarageBand on the iPad. I'm Little Murphy and I'll be taking you through part 2 of finalising your song. For more information on finalising your song with editing and mixing your song, the information is covered in a lot more detail in part 1 of tutorial 8 where it's covered on the iMac version. So what we're going to do is go back to our songs and up in the top left hand corner of the screen I'm just going to click the box with the arrow and select the song that I want to export. So once I've selected the song I want to export I then click the arrow with the box up the top left hand corner. I've got all of these different settings so I can send it to my mail, Facebook, SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes. Usually what I do is I email it to myself or I can send it straight to my iTunes. So you've got different file settings here. You can send it as an iTunes file or as a GarageBand file. I usually set it to either low or medium quality because there's less um, kilobytes in the actual file. And as you can see at the top there, you can change the artist, composer and album name of your song so you can find it within iTunes a lot easier. The steps for emailing your song to yourself or another person is pretty much the same. You change the artist, composer and album name and once you're happy with that you can fill out the details, find the person in the email and then you can send that email to the person that you have selected from your mailing list. This concludes the GarageBand tutorial series for the iPad and iMac. Please revisit the previous tutorials 1 to 8 if you feel you need to recover any of the information. And more tutorials will be developed using more advanced composition techniques soon. So more advanced chord progressions and ways of editing your compositions will be covered. And thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial series.